What if all of your hard work and success depended on just one game? And Choco Mucho and the Signal AC Spikers have proven time and time again that they deserve that top spot. But only one leaves tonight with the final ticket. It is game three and the last day of the semifinals in the All Filipino Conference. Only here on PVL, the heart of volleyball. <laughs> Single HD Spikers are looking for a way to catapult themselves to only their second finals appearance and assure them of a better finish than last Invitational and another crack at Creamline. That's with a win today. But for Choco Mucho, this is simply the most important game in their young franchise's history in the PVL. They are looking for their first finals appearance and a showdown against their sister team in the championship rounds. Welcome to Win or Go Home. It's a Tuesday here at the Phil Sports Arena and game number three of the semifinals between the Signal HD Spikers and the Choco Mucho Flying Titans. Of course, we're gonna go to a game three. It is just befitting the ending of our semifinals here in the BBL All Filipino Conference and we're happy to have you with us. Thank you for watching all over the world via the Filipinas Live app. And of course, on One Sports and in high definition on One Sports Plus. I'm Boom Gonzalez. Zier Vasho will be breaking down this game number three. And Lexi Rodriguez will be our storyteller at courtside today. Good to see you girls. I love win or go home matches, Z, oh, because, yeah. you know, the level of intensity is uh, several uh, notches higher. Of course, you have the preparation, it's very much different. And the stakes are elevated always. Definitely, it has been the matchup that everybody has been following since day one. You know, if we break down this semi series, everybody's just like on their toes at the edge of their seats for every point that's happening, for every set boom. And really, nobody's surprised that we're going oh, yes. to a game three between these two quality teams. But let's talk about game two first. For those who missed it, okay, Signal HD coming from behind in game number one to win. And then game number two, of course, etong Choco Mucho learned lessons from game number one and Definitely. made sure wala nang comeback. Ayun nga, there was no reverse sweep this time for game number two, which happened just three days ago, boom, just last Saturday. If we check out the attacking efficiency between Choco Mucho and Signa, if we can see Choco Mucho is back to their usual number with 32.7%. Because in game one, we saw how Signal was able to contain and consistently, you know, focus on defending at the net and on the floor for Choco Mucho. But, you know, game two, it was their usual form. So everybody was surprised that, you know, they ended that game in a quick three-setter match. Right, it is quick, yes, but it was tight and it was quality and you saw the numbers, not a lot of separation in terms of those attacks, in terms of their errors. And just like anything in play of sports, especially in volleyball, it is when those errors happen, oh, yes. yun yung mabigat, and that's what told the difference in game number two. Now let's talk about particular players here. Let's first focus our attention on the Signal HD Spikers. She has elevated, as I said, the intensity level umaakyat pag playoff, pag winner, uh, winner go home, and the stakes are higher. Your game is elevated, and that's what Rhea Meneses is doing here in the semifinals. Definitely. It's not just the swag or her attitude inside that court that was pretty much uh, better in game two, but also her statistics. Statistics. Even if she only, if they played in three straight sets, she was actually more efficient with 11 points as compared to game one with nine points. So um, it's also evenly distributed among other uh, among other skill departments. Six attacks, three blocks, and two aces for Riri Meneses. So uh, let's go over to Lexi. You got some stories for us. Yes, well, Z and Boom, actually, I I'll be honest right now. When I left the dugout of both teams, I kind of felt emotional because 
all, all of the players that I got to talk to, they said na ibubuhos lang nila talaga ng buong puso sa laro na ito para mapanalo at mapunta ang final spot sa kanila in this game. Now, of course, sa tumataginting na happiness signal, I got the chance to talk to Vani Gander. But you know what's interesting is that I heard her sing along with the rest of the team as they sing How Come I? And that was interesting because that is their mantra for the day. She even said that back in her college days, mental toughness was something Coach O would teach her. And as usual, there's been a lot of talk about pressure and mental strength that in the lead up to game three. And at this point in the competition, a certain mentality is needed to survive and succeed. And speaking of mentality, we got the chance to talk to Vani Gander of Signal. And let's talk about her headspace. So let's watch this. Signal has helped me tremendously. Ever since day one, I could feel the support. Um, they, really, they never fail to remind me of what I'm capable of. And so they give me the confidence to really just go out and play. I just did my role and it's my team that brought me up. So the way I'm performing, it's not just because of me, it's because of how the team is. Um, we really work as one and also the coaches. For me, it's just um, to be matapa, um, take risks. You're not gonna have, like, I'm never gonna have a perfect game, and you always just have to give your all and fight. So the fighting spirit is probably what I learned throughout the preliminary round. It's always exciting for me to go against former teammates, and Chakamucho is a really good team. I think everyone can see that they're doing so well this conference so it's nice to go against a great team because that helps us become better too so you know it's quality volleyball that's the most exciting part Well, that was Vani Gander of the Signal HD Spikers. Obviously, we've seen her much shorter throughout the conference, even way back before in Season 84. And that mental toughness is something that she's got to develop all throughout the past games that she has played. But of course, the Flying Titans are no stranger to that kind of mentality because as Coach Sate would say, nung pumasok siya sa Choco Mucho, may character na ang mga bata. Well, the Flying Titans, we know they have a different mindset this entire All-Filipino Conference. And now, that they're finally here in the semi-finals. How much have their motivations changed? Well, let's get into the headspace of the Choco Musho Flying Titans as we watch this feature. Alam naman din ng lahat na um, ngayon lang kami ulit nakapasok. This time, I think ito yung team na gustong gusto talagang makuha. Yung bawat Laro, bawat puntos actually, bawat puntos, bawat set, bawat game. Para sa amin, nag-grow kami as individual and nag-grow din kami as a team. Ipapakita talaga namin kung ano yung pinag-training na, na kung ano yung ginagalaw namin sa team. Kung makikita nyo din yung dadaanan namin di Semis, hindi siya, hindi siya madali. And for me, siguro, ano din to sa amin, test din to sa amin, test of characters, kung paano at kung kaano namin kagustong makuha. Kasi bawat training, bawat punta sa training, bawat game, bawat pawis na nandiyan dyan, parang um, para sa kung nasaan kami ngayon at kung saan kami pupunta. The Choco Mucho Flying Titans in their third PVL semis appearance. Again, looking for their first Finals appearance, that's what's at stake. And one of the reasons that they're doing better, obviously, there's a lot of reasons, Coach Dante's system, the improvement and steady setting of Dina Wong, but they really brought CC Rondina to take them to the next level, Z. That's what she's here for, and that's what she's hoping to bring. That's right, I mean, CC Rondina, the cherry bomb, has been a detonating bombs here and there ever since she uh, suited up with uh, the Choco Mucho Flying Titans. We see her being very efficient, not just in terms of attacking, but also in terms of uh, reception efficiency as we take a look. 38.5 reception efficiency. Actually, she started the season a little bit shaky, but eventually, you know, she took up, um, she took up this role to be the leader on the floor and at the net. So, CC Rondina, not just 38.5 um, reception efficiency, but it, she also has a 31.4 efficiency in terms of attacks. You know, that 30% uh, range boom, that's actually the 
really nice uh, range oh, yeah. for outside hitters. But, you know, you see her front row, back row playing defense yeah. as well. So she has the whole package. She is package. really nice, yes. <laughs> She's really nice She's and really she's nice. got the whole package. For sure. And, 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 and she knows just like a, a, a lot of our great open spikers, they know aatakihin sila sa, exactly. sa service, aatakihin sila sa kanilang reception. Alam na nila yan. They accept the challenge and CC Rondina is right up there to uh, take it for uh, the Chocomucho Flying Titans. What we always love in pre-games is our matchup. So we also have a premier matchup as always every time prior to the game and our spotlight will be on the opposites who play very differently but are both effective at what they do. Definitely. And speaking of being effective, these girls, both Jovelin and Kat, has been actually more effective in Game 2 than in Game 1. As you see, 13 points in Game 1 for Jov, but actually she made 16 in Game 1 out of 5 sets. Same as well as uh, for Catolentino, 15 points game two, but 16 points in game one in that five-setter match. But, you know, as we check it, uh, as we break it down in the last game, I was actually expecting Jovelin Gonzaga getting a little bit more sets in that latter part of the game. Because it was effective na siya doon banda when uh, Chocomucho was able to contain a Cesc Molina. But right. in terms of Catolentino, she was able to bring back her presence um, at the court as, you know, it was her and Kate who started the season. But, you know, she very much took up that role and embraced that starting position in the series. And she's very, very used to the spotlight, very used to the big games. So, and so is Joe Gonzaga. So we're going to enjoy this matchup. In the meantime, let's go back to Lexi. Lex, what do you have it's for us? It's good that you mentioned presence because our poll, our Filipinas Live app poll question of the day is which opposite hitter will make her presence felt in game three? And perfect is our premier spotlight candidates are Jovelin Gonzaga and Kat Tolentino. It's either the two of them. So we want to hear from you fans who are watching from the Filipinas Live app. Make sure to answer the poll question below which opposite hitter will make her presence felt in game three. Or if you're not watching from the Filipinas Live app, you can still join in the conversation with the hashtag, hashtag PVL2023. Now, what do you think, Women C? Uh, I well. think, I think, <laughs> I think it's going to be a blockbuster, especially on the Filipinas yes. Live app, because they're going to be watching all over the world. By the way, may fan stream din tayo, ah. Oh, there's going to be fan stream today. We're going to say hi to all of them later on. In the meantime, it is win or stay in, or win and stay in, win or go home. That is the situation. Game number three of the semifinals between the Chocomucho Flying Titans and the Signal HD Spikers. just to be matapa, take risks. You always just have to give your all and fight. It's the fighting spirit. Ipapa kita talaga namin kung ano yung pinag-training na. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing our officials for this match, our first referee, Elindo Yosebio, national referee. Second referee is Fernando Velarde, national referee. And now the starters, first for the signal, HD Spikers. Outside Spiker from San Beda University, number seven, team captain, Cesc Molina. Middle blocker from the National University, number two, Rosalind Doria. Outside Spiker from the Ateneo de Manila University, number five, Vanny Gandler. Opposite hitter from Central Philippines University, number eight, Jovelin Gonzaga. Middle blocker from the University of Santo Tomas, number 18, Ria Meneses. 
Center from the Far Eastern University, number 22, Jill Cayuna. Starting liberal from NU, number nine, Via General. And the head coach for signal is Shaq De Los Santos. And now the starters for the Choco Mucho Flying Titans. Outside spiker from the University of the Philippines, number one, Issa Molde. Center from the Ateneo de Manila University, number three, Dina Wong. Middle blocker from Ateneo, number seven, Medi Matayag. Opposite hitter also from Ateneo, number 10, Kat Tolentino. Outside spiker from the University of Santo Tomas, number 18, CC Rondina. Middle blocker from De La Salle, Das Marinas, number 22, Cherry Nunag. Stunning liberal from Adamson University, number 16, Tang Ponce. And the head coach for Chocomucho is Dante Alinsulurin. This game is held under the supervision and regulation of the Games and Amusements Board. And here are your starters. Start a new way to watch the PVL via the Filipinas Live app for Filipinos everywhere. Download and subscribe now for 149 pesos. No surprises for Coach Shaq. And the same here for Coach Dante Alinsunuri. And actually, pagdating sa ganitong Game 3, wala na talaga surprises si They pretty much know each other. Not only are this Game 3, meron ka pang preliminary match. So this right. will be your fourth meeting against each other here in this All-Filipino. Not, not a lot is going to be surprising in terms of mga game plan adjustments. This is about execution, mental toughness, and uh, who wants it more? That's right. At kung sino may mas tama yung gising, yeah. kanina ko maga. Yeah. <laughs> kung nakatulog man sila. Ay, nako. <laughs> Kasi hey, they had three days. They had three days <laughs> to prepare true. to yeah, have sleep sleepless nights that's as true. well. And we are off for game number three. Rondina with the first attack. And it's off a rebound right away. 17.6 is her average after the preliminaries. The number two scorer of the PVL gets the first point of game number three. CC Rondina, always the number one scorer for uh, Chocomucho. That's one thing that I wanted to bring up earlier. Because in game number one, um, it was Cess and Jov as one and two, right. but in game number two, it was Jov and Cess. But uh, for Chocomucho, it has been consistently CC and Kat as number one and two top scorers for their yeah. squads. You know, yung game one and game two, um, I was not in the country, but I was watching it dahil baliktad ngayon oras, so ako right. nanonood. Buti na lang, may Pilipinas live. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, ang nangyayari, naisip ko yun, in game one is the invitational version of Choco Mucho, right. of Coach Dante right. Right. Played so well, played so well, cannot finish uh -huh. the big game, yep. right? Yep. And game two is the all Filipino version. Yung natuto na sila, they, they have their finishing touch. Uh, it, it's completely split personality in game one and two nila. What? Ano yung makikita natin? Exactly. Yeah. Because that's the thing that he told me prior to the start of the season. They can play. They just need to finish the games. You know, not to in the Vietnam and in the first few games. I mean, bigger picture boom. This Choco Mucho team. This is kind of a new team in terms of having a new coach uh, right. that started coach Dante coming in at the beginning of the year and then CC Rondina eventually catching up so you know there's a new system that they had to learn there's a new kind of chemistry as well that they have to like fit in as well so you know for them to make it this far this time around it's really you know you can really tell they're doing everything right this time around with a 10 game winning streak exactly exactly only losing, of course, to the champions. Greenland Cool Smashers as Gonzaga finds the sharp cross to work. Jovelin Gonzaga needed to be, or needs to be activated a little bit more in this match if she's gonna be playing pretty much the same way in their last game. Again, she was a little bit more efficient in game two than in game one. And at the tail end of set number three, it was all her more than Cesc Molina. Cat from the other side. Oh, what a set by Dina Wong. 
not being talked about really is also the health of Nina Wong this yes. on Filipino and the vast improvement in terms of stability, very stable yung mga sets niya this conference. I mean, once again, if you check out the lineup for Choco Mucho, everybody can play talaga. It's just, you know, as you mentioned earlier, it's just a matter of being cohesive, playing as one team, and following the system that Coach Dante has given them to. Riri Manessas, the girl we talked about at three games, scoring there three, will be serving five as we toss it over to Alexis Rodriguez. Well, thanks, Boom. Boom and Z, I know we mentioned two premier spotlights of players from both teams, but we also need to mention another player who deserves to be under the spotlight, which is Cherry Nunak, who has been the go-to player for the Chocomucho Flying Titans. Well, you know, I asked her what keeps her going despite the things that she's gone through, and she told me that it's the will to keep going and get that W for the Flying Titans. And earlier today, I asked her, Kung ayaw niya na daw ulit talagang maramdaman yung pakiramdam na nagkulang sila last conference, yung pakiramdam na ayun na sila malapit na nilang makuha. At yun yung nagpupush sa kanyang ilaban, ang laban na ito. And speaking of push, anong magpupush sa inyong viewers to join in the Filipinas Live App community? You'll get the most extensive coverage of PBL in main view, multicam, and fan stream on selected games. We'll download now and let's head back to this game. Back to you, Zian Boon. Jerry Nuna, who scored... 10 points in their first game loss, 3 points in their second game win, averaging 6.7. Coming into the semifinals, the middles are also going to be very important in this match. Definitely. I mean, that's one of their roles is to get a couple of blockers so, you know, the hitters will get one-on-one -on -one at the net. And all this, of course, Choco Mucho is doing this without Desiree Cheng. Exactly. It's exposed to being exactly. injury. I mean, Isa Mode has definitely taken oh, up that boy. responsibility, you know. Um, she needed a little bit more help in terms of passing, but, you know, confidence-wise, she's really up there at the net, always swinging away. I love that, Z. I love that you mentioned the confidence because there's no question about skill anymore when exactly. it comes to her. It's exactly. really a confidence issue. And it's so obvious here in the All Filipino, it is back. As she swings away and makes us look good with that one. 7 oh, 4. You, Boom, Isa Molde. I mean, every time I watch every rally for Choco Mucho, it's really team effort. You know, everybody sacrificing their bodies, laying it out on the court just to make sure the ball goes up. And, you know, spikers are always ready front row, back row to swing the ball away. Speaking of. Another girl who's really just come up here in the All Filipino Tang Ponce saving that oh, one. Yes. Great pickup. Tang. D. Tina will try again to the other side. No. First long rally of the match. Wong straight to Borde. That is a tough angle for Isa. I mean, Isa also acknowledged that that ball went out a little bit. Off shoot set there for coming from Dina. Medyo minadale. That's why uh, it was a little bit pushed out there at the antenna. At five. Winner. The prize is a matchup with the undefeated Creamline Cool Smashers. Too much muscle behind that one. That's the second air, second free point as well, given to Choco Mucho. Which gives Choco its four point lead. Molde's 7.7 point average coming into the semifinals. Good nice serve. serve. But Cess was up for it. Rumisid Tumalo. Wong opens up to Rondina. Rondina puts it away. Cici Rondina again detonating bonds. She loves that cross court shot. Let's look at that one more time. You know, they signal by this time they need to find a solution for that. May it be at the net or on the floor because Cherry Rondina has been attacking that cross court hit. It is hard to find a solution for a season, <laughs> period. <laughs> yes. Now here's a girl who's really has been, when you talk about the word detonating, she really has exploded here in the All-Filipino Conference. Danny Gandler, 13 points a game coming into the semifinals. Astounding 
improvement. Kung meron tayong most improved, she's gonna be right up there. Definitely, and I just remember that so vividly that when, you know, during the Invitational, she ran from her graduation to yes. her game. San Juan. To San Juan. Yeah. CC again. The dink doesn't work. Gonzaga, all day was up for it. CC will try. Ooh, with a sharp. Touch of the net by Bia General. That was a little too tight for Bia to put it up, but once again, CC Rondina with so many angles up her sleeves, you know? Kahit sabi natin cross court, pero anong gano ka sharp na cross court ba yung pinapalo niya? As a second jump, means exactly. Out of pick system, up, eh? exactly. May it be in system or out of system set. Trust that she will always get that full swing. And that's what they really did not have without her before. Uh -huh. In somebody who excels even in out of system plays. Sess. Overcooked. That's a chocolate point. Distance between them now. They have doubled up on signal here 12 to 6. Back to back points so far here for the ladies in purple. Definitely a dominating start for the Flying Titans. Miss received. And a chance ball for the Flying Titans. Reverse to Cat. Cat squeezes it through the block. Scrambling her signal HD. And we go for the first technical timeout of game number three with Shogo ahead by seven. Download Pilipinas Live and get free seven-day premium access. Enjoy the NBA, the PBA, the UAP, and the PBL, along with highlights, updates, and original programs. So we say hello to our worldwide audience, the aforementioned Desiree Check And the uh, PBL and sports in general, is about opportunities. Of course, oh, yes. Shannon Palak there. It's obviously... Uh, an opportunity for somebody to come up with when an injury happens and that's what Isa Morgan is doing right now taking advantage of that situation of course they also had Ogunsanya who was sidelined for a long time now back Maddie of course is one of those oh yes another injury in Ilocos all of them are back and are healthy and are ready to play Dunar slicing it through Sherry Nuna was ready. I mean, you cannot give an easy ball to Choco Mucho because chances are they're definitely going to go into play and chances are it's going to be the middle blockers being activated. Speaking of, Jackie Acuna is now activated here by Coach Shaq from the bench in a game number three. 4-0 run, 14-6 is the score. Dina, big pass off the rebound. Kayuna reverses to Cesc. Oh, what a smart move by Cesc Molina. Cesc Molina ending that 4-0 run that Choco Mucho had. A little bit early again, 
a good block touch there by Acuna, giving uh, Jelka Yuna an opportunity to set up uh, Cess on that right front. Rendino with a perfect pass, the perfect setup, and the perfect swing! Look at that, Cherry Rondina loving that set. I mean, what's not to love, Boom? I mean, every ball that's put up in front of her, she'll just make sure she'll jump and swing hard. Oh. <laughs> One blocker is a difficult proposition against CC. Jove. Cat. Dina goes to the back for Isa. Kayuna will open up to Vanny. Vanny dug up by Isa. And Dina has to adjust. Chance for signal here. Ahunya. Nalunod ng konte, disit ng konte, but it's still a point. I mean, at this point, whatever works, boom. You Try gotta be to, ready. All, yeah. Always, you gotta be ready. Kailangan, minsan, mapalitan yung tempo. That's why these things work as well. Jackie Acuna getting a little court time. Here in game number three. Bang will send it over to CC. And Jell was there, but there was just too much velocity. CC Rondina changing it up a little bit, trying to go down the line this time again. It was an out of system set for uh, Tang Ponce and the blockers of the Signal HD Spikers were actually anticipating that cross yeah. court hit. Bang Adler again, able to squeeze it through the block, keeping their heads above water here, down seven in the first set. An all important first set. Cooling uh, Kat there a little bit. I mean, if you're face to face with Kat at the net, chances are you gotta hit high and you know, try to check ball. Get a check ball out of your blockers, just like that. Kayuna. Shoots it to the other side. Molde saw that coming. Dina will reverse the cat. Cat Pumawe! Cat Valentina. I feel like she's on 100% efficiency today, Boom, so far. <laughs> they got that one two punch there. Ooh. Cat Valentina this time going for that little bit off angle down yeah. the line hit. That diagonal jump, too. Uh huh. Kochak has to call time. <laughs> Join Eliza Valdez and other Philippine Volleyball Stars on ACES. New episodes every Saturday exclusive on Filipinas Live. Download and register now and enjoy seven-day free trial. Eliza Valdez and the rest of the Green Line Cool Smashers, of course, waiting, watching, preparing for their opponent will be whoever it will be. The signal looking for their second championship final appearance. Choco looking for their very first. Run and gun. Good time out by Coach Shaq. Running hit there, very effective for Liri Meneses. Trying to catch her blockers on the move. Just like that, because usually, boom, kapag steady yung blockers, doon, chances are it's gonna be a block kill. But if it's not sliding, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. control of that press of the hand and the block is parang 50-50. Uh, yes. Danny with a safe serve. Underhand set. Good pick up there by Gandler. Cat fell down. She recovers in time. Molde rolls it to the other side. Cayuna reverses to Joan. Oh, easy pickings here for Choco Mucho. CC did not like the set. Cess, she loved that one. Cess Molina just at the right time over and above her blockers that time. Look at that. Targeting the seam. 
Madi wasn't able to close it out. Try to get near or right beside Kat that time. Six point lead. Waldo receives, gets it back. <laughs> oh, that drops in. Look at that angle. Isang Monde trying a little bit of that CC flare. Oh, I love that. He said that to you because I saw that takeoff from our angle. It was a thing of beauty. I mean, look at that wind up. Look at that torque movement at the net. First time seeing Isang Monde trying to hit that sharp of an angle. Vanny from behind. Oh, fires a bullet herself. Vanny Gander still effective. Front row, back Aye. row. Definitely embracing this outside number two role for the HD Spikers. The strength development also. She's just developed mm -hmm. so much power. And then you couple it with the confidence now. Oh, yes. Jove saw that. Denied at the net. Kayuna will go to Joel. Maddie was there, but could not get it to go back. A little too late on the block. That was Maddie. Dante Alitsunurin. A great offseason. They want to cap it off with a final stint at the very least. That's Riri. That is her second. Service error already. Right, right. Still trying to get her groove here in game number three, Riri Meneses, who was very much uh, well contributing in all departments in uh, game number two, getting a couple of blocks, attacks, and service aces as well. That sails out. Yes. A little bit low on that set. Even the one in the last sequence uh, set to Ces Molina. Jalkayuna needs to be a little bit more patient in, the, in these plays. Eight was the biggest lead in this set. As Isa returns the favor. A couple of uh, errors exchanged, exchanged here. Set number one. We got a substitution for the HD Spikers. You saw C suiting up for the first time here. Former UAP best setters, Dina Wong, Giselle C, Jen Ferrer. <laughs> mga best setter lahat. Multiple. Ooh, good touch. Chance ball. Oh! Mani Matayag! Right on top of that ball on the run and gun. Support play for Mali is this wow. running attack. Look at that. Almost landing at the 10 foot line there, yeah. boom. Almost a front line. See. Maddie saw that. Rondina out of system. Still scores. Looks at the bench. See, see Rondina. Such good court presence. I mean, she already saw that there was a scramble in uh, zone one, and ulit ni binale yung bola. Nobody was there to anticipate that one. Uh, volleyball, uh, beach volleyball moves. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Five points for the bomb. That sails out for Maddie. So far, uh, two service errors. Um, uh, the Flying Titans made two service errors. And so far right now, HE Spikers need to make their own points and not rely on the errors. Down seven. Good first ball. Cherry! With a perfect, perfect pass by Dina. Perfect pass, perfect set, perfect swing there. Second point. Look at her. Look at that stretch of the arm. Perfect timing, too. See. Vanny. Dina has a chance to go to CC. CC denied! First denial at the net, but you know, how did naman to si CC. <laughs> at ang, ang masakit din, dahil sa lakas niya, pag na-block din siya ng tama, malakas din yung balik. Malakas yung balik. Ay, ang hirap i-cover din. That's right. I mean, a good check there by Acuna, who just suited up halfway through the set. 
Ooh, and another service error. Third yeah, for Signal. This one expensive because that sets up set point for the Choco Bucho Flying Titans. Here in game number three. That's a tough one. Dina will reverse to Kat. She chases, Vanny extends. And a chance ball here. Miscommunication on the combination play. Dina wastes the opportunity. Vanny puts it away. I mean, you gotta be a little bit more tactical on that uh, over on two touches, Boom. It was an easy yeah. pickup for Angela Nuna. That's yeah. why it was, Vanny was able to get that good swing in the last sequence. One set point save. Good get there by Sess. Chance here again by Signal. And a second ball put away. And a second set point save. Angelica Yuna trying to get on the scoreboard as well. Trying to be uh, deceptive in that last play. Her spikers getting blocked he left and right. So he, he, she took matters on her own ends. <laughs> Eight set points, it's down to six. Ooh. Down to five. <laughs> Three straight points here for the HD Spikers. Getting a little bit momentum here in set number one. Coach Dante has not called the timeout. Doesn't feel like he needs to. Maybe if they lose this point. Good first ball there. Ball there! Out, says the referee. They're gonna challenge this. Referee Erlindo Yusef, your first referee, looked at the uh, linesman here on the Chocopucho side and he raised the flag, meaning it was out. So we have a first challenge. And I bet if this one is unsuccessful, they will call a timeout here. I mean, that was such a perfect pass. Isa Mode only getting one blocker in front of her, but you know, she still tried to go for that down the line hit, but here we go. Did the spin of the ball. Oh, it's out. Just a little By a millimeter. bit out there. That little cut, that's a shadow. Yeah. Yeah, yep. that is out. So he's not gonna call a timeout. He says one more. That's a 4 0 run. Eight set points, Yan. Yep, yep. Four straight points for the HG Spikers. Cap. Good reaction there by Signal. Choco will go to Molde. And a net touch by a Signal HD Spiker will award set number one to the Choco Mucho Flying Titans here in game number three. Once again, they tried cat. They tr oh, yeah, they tried cat, but the defense was there. But this time, it was an error. Ending set number one, a little bit anticlimactic, especially Coach Dante wanting to end this set from an attack hit. We'll take a break. Set number two on its way when we come back.
New streaming experiences also await via the Filipinas Live app. Available for Filipinos everywhere. Download and subscribe now. For as low as 149 pesos. 27 minutes. Could have been shorter, actually, if you really think about it. Choco Mucho had eight set points. They gave away a 4-0 run, but ultimately, the lead was too big. What were your observations of that uh, first set, Z Urbasho? I mean, I already expected that Choco Mucho would really start this game explosively, as we witnessed that in games one and two. But, I mean, I was also thinking, you know what? Choco Mucho has been dictating the tempo, controlling the game in this whole series. Yeah, Signal AG needs to, you know, take over the wheel and, you know, make sure things go their way this time. And back in set number one, you can see that AG Spikers were scrambling a little bit, you know, scrambling on the floor. Yeah. They don't know who's going to get the defense, even with the setups. Parang hindi sila as confident as the Flying Titans today. They've not won a set one. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, they've been down 0-2 in both games. They had a monumental, great comeback in, in set number one, which Choco Mucho felt they let go of. They came back in game number two, convincingly winning in straight sets. And now Choco Mucho with its noses in front here in this winner-take-all match between them and Signal HD, and uh, nobody is as focused as that girl telling her teammates, job's not done. Definitely job not done yet, because, I mean, if they learn something in game number one, hindi natatapos ang laro o ang laban in two beautiful sets, no matter how well they played in that in those two sets, boom. Dilang game number one in a lot of their invitational matches, remember? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a lot of five oh, yeah. setters that they could not finish. And a first point, good sign for the Signal HD Spikers who are in their fifth BBL semis appearance. They were third in 2022 Open Conference, third in the Invitational of 2022, second in the Reinforced with Tiberia, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. as uh, you remember, and then third in the last Invitational Cup. That is five semi-final appearances for the HD Spikers. Ooh, Sent back. Yeah. Molde in the middle. That's a net block this time. Imagine ang Gigi ay gusto bumounce ball, but uh, she forgot that she's in the back row, so she needs to, you know, put a little bit more length behind that hit. Two straight points, unusual start for the Flying Titans, but you know, after that first set, I guess the HD Spikers got to wake up and realize what they need to do right now, Boom. Good coverage by Eneral. Good reaction by Balde, but Munag unable to keep it up. Kamabucho is complaining about something, but point will be awarded to Signal, so three straight points. Great start by Signal HD in this set that they're trying to bounce back from. Got to commend also Bia General taking charge at the floor there. This call between her and Sesto to get the first point to Choco Mucho as we send it over to the next season. Well, Boom and Z, earlier today I got to ask Joel Gonzaga on what is something that she likes about the Choco Mucho Flying Titans and she told me that no matter how hard they try to analyze to pre-analyze the Flying Titans, sometimes they'll never know what kind of surprise they're gonna come up against. And surprise, surprise, the Choco Mucho Flying Titans have got the chance to take that first set. But this won't stop the HD Spikers from defending their side of the court. Well, Jog said that they all got to speak with Rachel Ann Dakis before this game, and her advice was to not doubt themselves. Just believe that they can get to the finals. Now, if you want to watch the last few days of the All Filipino Conference, do not doubt the Filipinas Live app because you'll get the most extensive coverage of BBL in main view, multicam, and fan stream on selected games. Download and subscribe now. Now, back to you, Zian. 
last few days that Lexi is talking about is today and of course games one, two, and if necessary, game three of the finals. The finals game one will start on Thursday right away. Isa Ooh. squeezing it through the blocks. Isa Mode with just the right power behind that swing, breaking through her blockers in that last sequence. They were down three points. Coach Dante looked really pensive uh -huh. on the bench. Did not call a timeout. Now they're only down by one. And that pretty much sums up Coach Dante Alinsinurin sometimes. <laughs> Violation on the Chocomucho side. Called by Erlindo Eusebio. Good call there, although Choco Mucho coaches asking for a point for them for instead. <laughs> None given. 5 3. Capped. Makes it 5 4. Wrong footing. Jones Gonzaga. A little too eager to get. That short hit by Kat, but a deflection but it, at the net yeah, changed yeah. directions. It all started, though, with Dina selling that set uh -huh, very well. Uh -huh. They did not know where she was going to go there. Signal gets the point back, 6-4. Better exchanges of points here in terms of, uh, or in favor of the HD Spikers, because speaking about the uh, uh, sunud sunud na puntos dito kanina set number one they were able to get a 4-0 run yeah. in the middle part of the game that they cannot just let it happen this time around. Do you see again receiving? Still in play. That is in. It drops to the line for Danny Gandler from behind. Danny Gander really comfortable. Yeah. Hitting from the back row as well, you know. I was just thinking about how, you know, you mentioned earlier, uh, Des Chang was sidelined this season. And for, I guess, for Signal HD Spikers, it's Rachel Dockies, yeah. her, her leadership, her strength in that aspect. But, you know, Vanny Gander giving, getting confidence from her teammates and her coaches. You know, you see how she performs in, in this time around. Yeah. Meantime, Chong was down. Or after an attacking error from Kat Tolentino. 4 point lead is the biggest here in the second. Oh, it's a tough one. 5 point lead, great serving also by Vanny. 4-0 run here. Uh, for uh, the HD Spikers. Kung yung set one, choko mucho ang 4 0. This time it's the HD Spikers. Five point lead, the biggest lead. Eight point lead was the biggest of Choco Bucho in set number one. Game number three, winner take all match between them. The right to face the cream line in game one. Ivy Luxina, Mars Alba in attendance. You know them a bit. Yes, familiar. <laughs> familiar. <laughs> Isa, that's out, and it doesn't hit Vanny. Uh, she's think, asking for a check ball. I think they're going to challenge. Yeah. Coach Dante saying the officials at the table can't hear the buzzer, so she, he had to make sure he talks to second referee here and ask for that challenge. Isa Mode saying there was indeed a check ball. Right, while Fernando Velarde clarifying matters with Coach Dante. 
and Coach Edget. I mean, even if Signal AG started it with a 3 0 uh, opening here in second set, Choco Mucho was actually catching up pretty well, but that 4 0 run pretty much hurt them right now. But it seems like there was a check ball. Wow. From that hit by Isa Molde. Good call. There. Barely. Barely. Just at the tip of that ring finger there, boom. Barely, but it counts. <laughs> Tino will get us going for this rally. Five serving nine. Cat was up for it. She gets it back, sends it over. Kayuna goes to the middle to Doria. Grandina with a get. Matayag. Ooh, miss hit there miss hit, this yep. time. I think she went a little too early for that runner. Even before the ball touched Dina's hand. Five-point lead again. Reinstalled. Roslyn Doria also very effective middle for Coach Shaq. Averaging 7.6 points in the preliminaries. Long ball for Isa. Dina chasing. Nailang ng konti kay Meneses. From the back again! Gandler is on fire! Fanny Gandler. 11 points, partner. Owning that back row spot. I mean, she looks really comfortable playing that uh, back row hit boom. Six points in the first set, five in the second. 11-6. Here you saw that coming. Returns the favor. Isa out of system, miss hit. Gel takes a look at the defense. Cap was there. Pick up. Reset. Kayuna, run and gun. That's oh, too high for Riri. Uh oh, trouble for Choco Mucho there. So far, Choco Mucho is now the one in scrambles here yep. in set number two. I mean, during the last time, our coach Dante pointed it out what needs to be done, and it's that first ball. Earlier, they were able to activate their middle so easily because they're passing really well. But now, you know, I remember when Valley stood in that service line, she was giving them a hard time yep. passing that first ball. That's the reason why I always say, Z. Even if tinambakan ka sa first set. Oh, yes. And kahit na medyo sure win na yung kabila, 1.2 points away, you have to try to make a run. Because it pwedeng mag, ano yun, mag carry over sa susunod na set. Eh. Definitely. It's that momentum. And I think that's what Choco uh, Signal HD got in that last, uh, in the tail end of set number one. But look at that. Hit by Dina Wong, regalo. Nobody <laughs> on the side of the HD Spikers to answer for that. Lead of six, though. <laughs> oh, Pumawe! And again, see if there's a good pass. Chances are they will convert the point. This time it's really the HD Spikers with a better first ball and now activating everybody front row and back row. Coach Shaq is into it now. 13 6 is our score.
Get access to the second all Filipino conference of the Premier Volleyball League live and in HD. One Sports Plus, plus more premium channels for the whole family when you switch to Signal Post Pay. Subscribe to Plan 520 and enjoy three free months with no cash out. Call hashtag 88555 or visit your nearest Signal dealer. It is the shoe is on the other foot, as they say, Z. Oh, yes. Uh, second set, 13 6 on our score. Kanina naman, 13 6. Set number one in favor of Choco Mucho. But this time, taking advantage of that technical timeout, making sure they get the point right away. Good reaction there by Maddie. At living on uh, in midair. 7 3. Sorry, 7-13 rather. Good serve. And a chance ball for the girls in purple. Sherry Nunag. Five points, partner. Sherry Nunag, five points here. Actually tied with uh, CC Rondina and Isa Molde. Perfect timing, perfect height. And again, first ball ang usapan dito. And it all began with the serve. Yep, yep, yep. Bumalik sa kanila because of the heavy serve. As Cesc Molina scores her fourth point. Cesc Molina, I guess the second highest score. Because guess what? It's Vanny Gander yeah. taking charge here with 11 points so far. Five and, uh, six and five. Six in the first set, five in the second set. Set back. CC again adjusts in midair. Look at that cut shot down the line, knowing that you know that's the second time that somebody got somebody blocked her, Woo. but this time chopping it up, slicing, dicing zone one. What a shot! Chance here, and then Lazaro Revilla is in the match. Cat is sent back. Ayuna. Back row. Ooh, good up. Ooh. Not enough. So far, you got the HD Spikers with that much momentum and chemistry working here in set number two. Moldig, good first ball. Cat from the other side ran all the way. I don't know if you saw, partner, where she came from. Yeah. We get a replay. We get a replay. Here yeah, we go. But, pero nakita na natin na dito na siya <laughs> sa right side. She actually started from. Okay. Yeah. All the way. Trabaho ng opposite yung tumakak mo para lang po. Exactly. <laughs> Yun yung maganda makita kasi, di ba? Parang pag na-appreciate mo yes. yung mga nuances ng laro nila eh. Definitely. Just like that, three straight points for Choco Mucho. Lead is down to four. That says one more. Nice serve. The push. Chance to cut this lead. CC from behind. Denied by Doria. Rosalind Doria, good anticipation there at the net and the right angle as well because every time Cece goes up for uh, that back row hit, she makes sure she doesn't hit straight down but gets some angles in there. Cat again. Luna will be credited for that one. Good anticipation once again at the net. You know, that's the job, that's the primary job of the middle blockers is make sure that every time a ball is gonna cross the net, they're there to anticipate to block that, to get a touch at least. But now, speaking of middle blockers, crowd is going wild as Bea de Leon suits up to serve. The team captain. Down four. In set two. Good serve. It's a very good serve. Mm -hmm. And that's why they have a chance here. Bump set to Kat. Kat had to adjust off the rebound. Kayuna to Vanny. Set back. Mm. Dina saw that. 
Bea up to Pat. That's off the fingers of the HD Spikers. And the lead is down to three. And Coach Shaq knows the crowd is into it. So he will call for time. Experience a new way to feel the heart of volleyball. Watch every set spike, dig, and block live in high definition and on demand anytime, anywhere, and on any device via Filipinas Live app. Download and register now. This match is tightened up. Three point lead. Seven was the biggest lead here in set two. That's right, and early, a little bit earlier on, Choco Mucha Flying Titans making that 3 0 run, you know, making sure they screw things up a little bit tighter in terms of oh. press ball. But wow, Ses Molina finding that spot. Nobody was there to pick it up. A mile away, somebody. <laughs> She saw it. Look at the control of that. Ah, that's a thing of beauty by a girl who's averaging 15, almost 16 points coming into the semifinals. The number six best scorer, Ses Molina. Floating in the air. Cutting that momentum. Two straight points for Ses. I mean, let's give half a point to Fanny with that good serve forcing the Flying Titans to give a regalo para kay Ses Molina in that last sequence. Uh, this is a little bit of a semi-timeout for Coach Dante Alessanuri, and I think they know that Ses Molina did not touch the net here. They're trying to challenge to just maybe settle down. That touch was the challenge. And Cesar was way, way far from that. Needing that timeout was Cici Rondina trying to, you know, get the group together, shake things off. She's also a little bit quiet so far today with six points under her belt. The lead is five again. Fanny's been serving solidly. Yep. Right at the chest where Jones Gonzaga could not keep it in play. Tanto Lentino, a little, really high efficiency from that right side and having like so many variations. I remember earlier she went down the line, this time getting hitting it cross court. Gel back to Sess. It's back to signal. Sess takes a look at the defense. CC was there. Molde returned. Isa again. Rolls it to the other side. Molina with a pickup. Too low for Vanny. Down to three again. Medjan Amiga on that last back row hit, but Vanny Gander has been really efficient in the back row. Yep. Currently with 11 points. Stuck at 11, mm -hmm. but still leading all scorers. Cat Tolentino, second at nine. Ooh. Stuck in the mud. The feet of Choco as Chel Cayuna found the donut hole. Chel Cayuna making sure 
they end the sequence right away. Trying to be a little bit more unpredictable while she's in front. Samolde deciding last second. Sixteen will be serving nineteen. Combination. Obsessed oh, when she gets a perfect set. Really. Oh yeah. I think she really loves that low and fast set. Yes. Again, coming from a perfect pass from Jovelin Gonzaga. Nobody at the net. You cannot not be there for the block. Great for job. Molina. Great job by Riri's <laughs> yeah. pulling away the defense. Too much power on the CC Rodina swing. Down to three again. Getting a touch there. Cleared for takeoff. Goes above the blockers. Vanny could not keep it in play. Down three. But up a set. Sess had to change direction. Maddie with a chase. Dina with the rainbow free ball. Riri this time. It looked like it was going to be the same play for Sess, but it was Riri who gets the pass. I mean, Look at this, this. this is why same people, play. Yeah, people only, uh, the AG Spikers get one on one because both the middles and their pin hitters have been uh, activated really well in the set. Aggressive young approach, G. Exactly. They are unable to score there. Danny goes high. They go to CC. Deny. Ponce. Back to CC. Faster. This was a little lower, a little faster. But CC jumping a little quicker. So single blocker. CC acknowledging that. You know, bantay na bantay na talaga yung cross court hits niya, and that's why this slice in dice it has been effective as well. A chance to cut the lead down to two. CC again. Dug up. Chance ball for Signal. Kayuna. Joe puts it away. Gonzaga this time pounding that ball straight down the line in zone five. She picked it up and she put it away. What action here. Oh, oh. Blocking has been uh, difficult on the side of the Flying Titans. Not even good touches has been made here on the side of these girls in purple. Signal has been able to respond. Every time. Choco cuts it to three. Kaya yung 13 to 6 start na yun, mabigat yun. Oh yes, eh. oh yes, definitely. And that, and I mean that for both teams. In 13 to 6 ng Choco ng una, and 13 to 6 ng signal ng pangalawa. Si Sirondina making things happen for Choco Mucho here. This time trying to target the perimeter. Kasi nga, bantay na bantay na yung cross court hit niya by the blockers and the floor defenders, but a little bit short on that time in the front line here. Rebound. Dina up to Molde. This is the first time that Choco Mucho has been able to cut it down to two, partner. And here come the Titans. You know what? No problem if CC's in the back row because Isa Molde making sure she makes the same output. Joe. Dina is beside herself that she could not get that first ball. A little bit too eager to put it up perfectly for Tam Ponce to set it up, but went out of bounds that time. 23 20. Ooh. <laughs> Way to let that one go. Wow. 
You're gonna challenge this? Ball in, ball out. I mean, nothing to lose here, especially if you're still up ahead by three points. And uh, using it as a timeout as well, Coach Shaq on your screen is giving some instructions and reminders to her ladies, to his ladies. And by the end, by the end of Coach, have a challenge. Good uh, minutes there, yeah, exactly. Yo, you see the Shaq na nagigigil. You can see the Shaq na nagigigil. You can see the Shaq na nagigigil. You can see the Shaq na Yep, yep, yep. Sometimes kasi buong iniisip nila na gusto nilang ipuesto yung bola or ibigay yung bola dun sa perfect spot. And speaking of perfect spot, Bea De Leon delivering a crucial service ace. To the delight of her fans who are delirious right now with that service ace. And why not? This lead is down to one. Seven was the biggest lead here in set number two. Adjusting their receive pattern there. Better first ball. Oh, and a chance here. Cat. Goes over the blockers. Gel reverses. That is in. That is clutch. Says Molina asking for that ball no matter where she was that time in the back row. This time, iikot at nasarap na siya ngayon. Last point para sa signal issue, but. Foot fault challenge. Uh huh. These are all. Tactical challenges now by this moment. Coach Dante making sure he gives instructions this time. Guys, two spikers lang naman. Pinupersa na yung backline natin. Adjust kayo sa backline. Pinupersa yung backline. Far from it. That point sticks. But the coach Dante, he was saying that dalawang puntos lang yan. We can still adjust. We can still catch up and maybe get the set. But they gotta get that first ball first, especially uh -huh. with Vanny Gandler serving so oh, yeah. well. Oh serving yeah. For the set, Vanny Gandler. Twenty-four, serving twenty-two. Mm. Oh. Oh! Wow. Some nerves coming into play, maybe. I mean, it was a good target. I think the assignment has been uh, targeting uh, the passer in the front row, and that's yeah. CC Rondina. Right, they're challenging this because there might be a chance. You never know. There might be a chance that there was a millimeter. <laughs> Or a shadow, a fraction of a shadow. Eh, kung shadow, hindi pala. Ay, hindi pala, hindi pala. <laughs> you ano, <laughs> yung pagka-squish ng ball, yes, paglabag. Yes. Tama, tama. <laughs> tama. Do we have it? Here we go. Shadows not included. Oh, yes. Ay, malayo. Malayo, malayo. Oh, no. They're still in this, talking about Choco Mucho. Coach Dante giving a couple of instructions before Kat suits up to serve. Serve is crucial. One set point save. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Good first ball there. Sess will get this one. Rondina with a dig. Bolde. Gandler. Sess again. Dina will go. Back row. That is wide. The pass was a bit too low, Z. Yep, yep, yep. 
Medyo na madali ni Dina yung back row set niya because even before the first touch, CC was already asking for a back row. Yeah. Almost a double contact violation as well. But eventually, you know, a miss hit, an error once again ending in this set number two. And game number three is all tied up. A set apiece for the right to be pre-line in the finals. So for the first time in this series, the Signal HD Spikers have won a second set. In the meantime, it is 25-20 for Choco Mucho and then 25-23 for the Signal HD. New streaming experience, uh, experiences rather also await via the Filipinas Live app. Available for Filipinos everywhere. Download and subscribe now for as low as 149 pesos. 13 to 6. Yun yung crucial. Z, may kunting cushion yung signal para nung umabol. Itong Choco Mucho in the end, they had a bit of a cushion. Definitely. I mean, you cannot really start slow here, especially when big things are at stake. Boom. Uh, kanina, set number one, it was 13-6 in favor of Choco Mucho. Pero, naiba ang uh, story in set number two. 13-6, pero in favor naman of the Signal HD Spikers. You know, you, you, you have to contain those runs by your opponents. And this time, also talking about the attackers of the HD Spikers, a little bit more dominating uh, Vanny Gander. Their leading scorer, surprisingly, because it's usually Gonzaga and Molina. And also another surprise is Rondina's uh, quietness so far here in uh, sets one and two for Chocomucho. But both teams only with five errors. Uh -huh. Really tight. Yeah, really, really tight. nice uh, volleyball. Mm -hmm. The uh, Ateneo girls are in attendance uh, watching their Ates. Yes, yes. These are the girls who will see action in uh, February. UAP in <laughs> February. That's right, as they are kind of uh, refreshing in, in, a, in a restart mode on uh, Ateneo volleyball. In the UAP, they're watching their Ates, Vanny Gander, Bea De Leon, Maddie Madayag, Den Den, Jem, 
dami nila dito. Of course, Dina Wong, uh -huh, uh -huh. part of the, the products of Ateneo Valley, is the first uh, Atenean ever in the Signal HD team. Person only right now, obviously. And, uh, you'll see those girls in the PVL soon enough, but now they focus on the UAP, which opens in the second week of February. In the meantime, set three of game three, and we are tied. One set apiece, Drew Gonzalez, Zier Vasho, and Lexi Rodriguez. At your service for Winner Take All Tuesday. What changed, uh, Z, for both teams? Bakit nagkabalik tara ni Laro? I mean, we were talking about control and, you know, taking the wheel in terms of changing momentum or getting the momentum on their side. Set number one, Chocomucho started really strongly. You know, opening point was CC Rondina's attack, but things have been... Uh, it's always the in-game adjustment that has been good for uh, the HD Spikers. They were able to silence CC at the net. You know, I remember those two blocks na hindi ba naman usually nakita in the previous series, but, you know, checking their A Spiker and making points on their own as well. Body language-wise, also, boom, you can really tell that the HD Spikers are more confident, more wow. relaxed, more in the flow, kumbaga. In that second set, you know? One all, one all. Kumustay natin si Lexi Rodriguez. Well, Boom and D, it's like we've only just begun this race towards the last spot in the finals. But you see, Z, as you mentioned, the Signal HD Spikers' key strength is their in-game adjustments. Now, Coach Shaq shared with me that they lack to work on that in Game 2 and became too complacent, perhaps. He also said that there's no room for complacency and they can't just stick to their old plan na sa set 1, tatansahin muna nila at saka bumawi sa second. But, obviously, they still switched it up, stuck with the original plan, and finally tied the ball game. Now, this report is brought to you by the Filipinas Live app where you can get the most extensive coverage of PVL in main view, multicam, and fan stream, which is available right now with Pili Capistrano, Jamie La Vittoria, and of course, Mel Gohing Nasino. Now back to you, Z and Boom. Happy birthday, Billy, by the way. <laughs> oh, and Jeff Ferrer. Jeff Ferrer also celebrating birthday. Do all. I mean, uh, speaking of in-game adjustment, that has been the story in game one for the HD Spikers. And right now, you know, we started set number three with CC in the back row. Maybe para sa dulo, Shane nasa harapan. We'll see about that. Oh! Makes it to the other side. Wong, Maddie. Block out, check out. Good touch there though, but a little bit off the angle. She had it, yes. <laughs> but bounces out. Cat continues to target Gandler. Earlier on, it was Jovelin trying to move back and pass, but cannot make that happen right now as she is in the middle. What a what a serve by Cat! This oh, time, yeah. the slow mo the ball was just floating left and right. Hard floater there, a better pass from Bani this time. That tip not good enough. Again, it's a. Cici Rodina. Here we go, Choco Mucho with a 4 0 run already at the start of set number three. If Signal wants to win this set or at least Ooh. try to make it close, they have to stop this bleeding that they're experiencing right now. That one's gonna sail out. There you go, three points. Always expensive. Coach Dante Alinsunurin trying to take this team to the finals for the very first time. Miss received again. Another chance to attack. Run and gun! Still works, still so efficient. Madi Madayag with that running attack. Kanina off the block this time, nobody on the floor to answer for that one. And it was Vanny again following her. 
And as we said, when you're sliding and blocking at the same time, 50-50 na yan talaga. And chances lower of getting a clean block. And Ooh. sabi ni Vanny, dito na lang ako babawi. Vanny Gander loving that faster set from Jel Cayuna. Some heat on that spike. Look at this. Oh, what a shoot. That's also one of her stronger angles that down the line hit. Good pick up there by Joves. Fanny again. Nice cover. CC, no. It's Maddie. Scrambled by Signal. Vanny still sends it over. Back to CC. Underneath the ball. CC Rondina trying to get a high touch hit there. Cross court hit hasn't been as effective now, trying to get a touch from her blockers. Papabawiin. Good touch. Wong. Back to Rondina. General. Sess from behind. Too much. Everybody thought it was in. Kaya tatawa tayo ng challenge. I thought it was out. Uh -huh. From our angle. But... Good floor defense by General, anticipating that cross-court shot by Cece Rodina. Trying to frustrate her at the net. The finals will begin on Thursday. Green line waiting in the wings. For the 10th finals. While one here will be the newbie, no doubt. Coach Shaq, Tumpia General, uh, talking about CC's tendencies there. She said she will na angulo yung kamay. I mean, after that hit, after that ball landed, everybody on the side of the HG Spikers, including Coach Shaq himself, <laughs> thought that that was in. Let's see. Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh no. Oh, wow, that's tough. I think that's it. Right. Oh. Is it out? Was it just the shadow? Might be just the shadow. The actual bounce was probably out. Unsuccessful challenge. So, that beat struggle has a two point lead. He put Wong opens up, shoots it to CC. CC Rondina this time finally getting a point from that last swing there Mahabun against siya. two blockers as well. I do, Mahabun na siya. 11 uh -huh, points uh -huh. for her. Her and Tolentino have scattered 11 points each. That's Ooh. it. Service ace, now a 3-0 run here. That uh, last challenge, Paul, a little bit, uh, got them a little bit frustrated here. Look at that ball drop for Maddie. Goes to the other side of the court, Vanny. Cece's asking for it, she gets it. Jove, Vanny again. Reaching was Maddie. CC flies. That drops in. <laughs> that drops in. That flick of the wrist was good enough. So hot to so hot. CC Rondina making sure that lands inside, targeting the perimeter. Look at she that was wrist. a little bit off already at that approach, but that spin, that wrist away action. <laughs> yeah, get it like that. Ganyan, ganyan. Yung pagturo yung sababa, kaya buwaba yung bola. Timeout signal. Ayusin nyo lang. Makahalata kayo. Ayusin nyo lang. Walang best solution dyan kung gigalingan natin. Yun lang.
Yun lang yung ano, mag-effort talaga tayo. Okay? Ha? Taglaban sa pinakabagong sports app ng Pilipinas Live. Mapapanood ang PBA Season 48 Live. And in high definition and on demand on any device. Available worldwide. Download and register now for free. Choco Mucho has doubled up on signal now 10 to 5. Signal point. Good time out. Ches Molina once again. Asking for the ball. Every time, you know, they need a point, you would always count on Cess asking for it and getting the point. Yep. And she's got, when she's got that look on her face, he, <laughs> she's got a mean mug. <laughs> I mean, she's the reigning MVP, so no pressure. I, re I remember I got to ask her before the season or the conference started. She said, wala namang kaibang preparasyon ang nangyari to be in that MVP form. It's just, you know, working together as a team, being cohesive, just like that. On cue. Two straight points after that timeout. Definitely an MVP character, you know, taking advantage for every opportunity she gets. She was, getting... also, she was also healthy in the invitation. Oh, yes. oh, yes. She had some ankle problems Definitely. in previous conferences. Staying healthy as well, especially now that we have 12 more teams in uh, the conference playing together, playing against all the other 11. Right. Slide by Tan. Hunag again, activated, cutting that 2-0 run. Dina has been phenomenal with terms of distributing that, those balls, especially, you know, when there are only two spikers making sure to take the load off of CC. And Cherry Nunag, the two cherries, has been playing really well today. The other cherry. Doria Tinuro. Joust. Oh! But the call, the point will go to signal the overreach. Call by Erlindo Eusebio on Dina Wong, who was a backliner. Lead is three. CC receives. CC delivers. A little less power behind that spike, but still effective. Because you know, kanina ang hahaba, ang lalakas na ng mga palo niya, and everybody's just anticipating those kinds of hits from CC. This time, little less power, a little bit shorter on that hit as well. Oh, nanggigil si Lunan. Still catching up, Kutshak also trying to cheer from the sidelines as you saw on your screens. Team is down 9, 12. 9 serving 12. Outside here, the Field Sports Arena in Pasi. Oof! Is there a touch? Yes! Yeah. Isa Molde, a little too late on that approach, but still was able to find a way. Nagpa-check ball, pinalabas yung palo, and she got the point. 13-9 is the score. We will be back.
Download Pitabinas Live and get free seven day premium access. Enjoy the NBA, PBA, UAP, and the PBL, along with highlights, updates, and original programs. All right, we did have a poll question on Pitabinas Live, which opposite hitter will make her presence felt in game number three so far. So it far, it's been Kat. Because yeah. I remember when we started, she was ahead. Well, she's been always ahead um, in terms of attacking also. Joan Gonzaga has been uh, playing well, Six making times. sure he she, she also contributes in terms of passing. Not just in terms of attacking, yeah. Six points and six attacks. Well, Tolentino has ten attacks, 11 points. She had, a, she had an ace earlier. Mm, yep, yep, yep. The percentage that you can see was a percentage of the voting of the fans. So the fans favoring Kat as Maddy Madayag is able to hit the slide play. Look at this. Maddy is just untouchable. This is a shorter run, partner. Yep, yep, yep. Oh. Because she did not even reach uh, set or Bunny rather yes. on that uh, plane at the net. Short slide works. Four point lead. Oh, and cute. Oh, Narini got that tiny job. Na. Tapos siya din. May cut, may percentage dito sa poll natin. Now circles the the spikers, Maria Menezes. She, she's campaigning for more votes. With that swing, for sure. 11 serving, 14. Isa. Soft touch. Candler able to score on that power tip. And Nico Giuseppe, you're talking to CC. I think uh, first referee is saying the first touch was a block touch, so there was no double. Touch violation here. There's a lot of sarcastic applause that I uh, see on the court right now. <laughs> I mean, that actually counts as a block. Every time you try right, right, to right. get a touch, when you jump at the net, that's yeah. a block touch. Good call there by our first referee, but an error, a free point given to Choco Mucho after that contested point. Fifteen will be serving twelve. Set number three. Three point lead. Cat able to dig it up. CC does not find the line. A little too much sauce behind that uh, spike because she knows that that down the line hits has been untouched. Coach Shaq, I think, is playing mind games with the Choco <laughs> Mucho players here. I mean, Coach Shaq has coached <laughs> Cece in the past. <laughs> and he might, he, might, he might know the solution. <laughs> and then he stares down at Coach Shaq. <laughs> <laughs> Becoming a psychological game here, Boom. <laughs> Whoever gets frustrated first. We did catch Maddie there. There, there's Maddie. There you go. Thank you very much, Derek Alneri, for <laughs> indulging us. Danny with a soft touch. And Shaq again with a sarcastic clap at the Trouble Mucho Flying Titans. <laughs> hey. Whatever works <laughs> yes. at this point. I was exactly going to say the same thing. If that's what's pumping up his team. Because if big things are at stake, the last ticket to the finals will be awarded after this game. And all ammos are being used today, Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Every available bullet. Huh? Lead is two. Jerry mishits that one. That's a great spot by Ses Molina. <laughs> Ses Molina getting a little bit more creative. I mean, look at how the girls respond to how Coach Shaq is leading Correct. this team right now. Everybody's just enjoying, everybody's smiling. All their body, everybody's body languages are just light and flow, flowing as they should. So now the lead is down to one. Biggest lead was four mm -hmm. in this set. What mm -hmm. a serve. CC with a touch. CC again. 
Not that time. Again, she has been swinging down the line, and that has been the more effective hit by CC Rondina. Got check for trying to go cross court this time. Nobody was able to solve that down the line hit. Sess. And Kat did not see where the ball went. Lead is down to one again. Still Tight third one set. point game boom. Yep. I mean, if we watch both teams right now, mas migana itong signal HD Spikers, even though they're one point behind. You know it's coming. <laughs> they were in perfect position, Z. I mean, Defensive, uh, that's, that's also another tactic. If the middle blocker is serving, chances are you're going to target them every time they're defending. I remember earlier, Cesc Molina with that back row cut shot or drop ball towards the middle of the zone five spot. Blocked. Cesc checked. Gel. Vanny. Again, Great setting by Jelka Yuna exactly. there. Exactly. Distributing to everybody at this point, and then everybody just always ready for that set. One point lead. Wong. Cat from behind. Overset. That is out, but it's a touch. We are all tied up at 18. Here we go, 18 apiece. Our first ever deadlock here. In game number three, I remember game number two has so many deadlocks. Everybody just not letting go of every ball, but this time, there you go, a 3-0 run. They take over the lead. 19-18, and Coach Dante calls time. Guys, okay, problem not to receive, okay? Samusin na naman, papatay tayo. Guys, maximize natin. Sa patay lang, two spikers pa rin sa harapan. Two spikers pa rin yan, maximize natin. Hindi na tayo nakasun sa two spikers nila. Nagpalit na lang tayo, nagpalit na. Okay, nagkakindihan, ha? Isang magandang isipan tayo. Patay tayo din na, ha? Two spikers pa rin na, ha? Sige, sige, sige. Dante trying to halt the momentum of that 3-0 run. CC is in the back row. It is Kat and Sherry in front for Choco. They will be on offense here after the Jelke Yuna serve. This is now really playoff volleyball we're watching. Definitely. Isa. One on one at the net. Job was there, pero hinabol na yung block. Here we go. I'm watching uh, a lot of the action at the net too. Right? Definitely. The stare down. Oh yes. Riri, oh yes. Madi, Isa. Notorious talaga to si Madi, <laughs> si mga stare down eh. Si Riri, di ba? Siya rin. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Riri Manessos. Rejarocha comes in to serve. Ayuna chases. Chance here for Choco Mucho. We're up 19 all. Pick up by CC. It's too high for Molde. Sess. Perfect height for her. 2019. That's practically a giveaway to Molde's game. That's right, like you cannot give those kinds of a slow, easy boss, especially momentum is on the side of the HD Spikers right now and is still on the lead. Given away. 
20 all, set three, the swing set of game number three. Dove, what a dig by CC. She gets it back. That's too low again. Forcing it. A little bit late on that anticipation since she got that dig. And siempre, medyo gigil na yan para makuha yung lamang dito sa set number three. Which goes to signal because of that attack error. Rhea, sure serve this time. Ball there. Vanessa's with a good slide there. Oh, That's oh. in. And a two point lead. And Coach Shaq continues to applaud. Vanny Gandler getting called and delivering points here. Crucial time at set number three. Making that uh, end line. 16 points for her. Maddie this time did not go for the swing. She went for the tip. Still as effective. We got a double sub here. But look at that, Vanny. A little too far off the net. Good timing, though. Good read. 21-22, Jem Ferrer, Kate Virai comes in on a double sub. Over. What a serve. And the over pass by Ces Molina. Another deadlock here, set number three. And CC knows what to do with this. The only thing to do at that point, boom. Better first ball there. Joel puts it away. 23-22. Boy, Jelka Yuna has been spectacular. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Jelka Yuna acknowledging all her spikers who are already ready to swing for those sets. She gets to serve. Jobs, I mean. With a two with a one-point lead. Mm. Mm. Oh. Oh. And go Joe trying to target Isa Molde, but Isa also responding with, with some uh, signs to the coaches to challenge it. But here we go, we got a challenge by the HD Spikers. This is a big set. It is clearly out. This was clearly a tactical challenge. So I guess Isa was taunting the bench of the HD Spikers. She was probably like, "Cause you challenge you, cause you're all Let's check, enjoying the action here. 23 all. One all. Game three. Went back. Free ball. Cat from behind. Stopped by Molina. Gambler sends it over. CC. Cleared for takeoff. Set point, Chavo Mucho. Cici Rondina, who else will deliver that set point? But Cici, again, I think this is it. Boom. The reason why she started in the back row here in set number three is that so she ends this set in the front row. And she has delivered so far. Maddie taking her time. Gandler ties it all up. The guts. Composure.
Composure for CC. Composure for Vanny. Vanny Dander has been untouchable on that hit. Targeting down the line. 17 points to match CC wow. Rondina's 18. Wow. Just like that, CC Rondina catching up at the scoreboard. Yeah. So we go to an extension. Fight. Jerry Nunag! Woo! Now that takes guts. What a set by Dina. And Coach Shaq gives the thumbs up to Dina Wong. <laughs> I mean, you got CC in front who just got that <laughs> last point. But for Dina Wong to have that trust in connection with Cherry Nunag. Molina rejected. Molina again. Kill block. Mucho takes set number three. Look at that. The grit, the resilience of the Flying Titans. It didn't matter how many points they were down, but they were sure that they were going to work on it until they hear that last whistle, until they get that last point of this set. The 12th point for Kat Tolentino and her first kill block of the match. And Choco Mucho is a set away from their first ever Finals appearance. Two minutes in that third set for us to decide who won. And it was Choco Mucho edging 26 24. New streaming experiences also await by the Filipinas Live app. Available for Filipinos everywhere. Download and subscribe now for as low as 149 pesos. We have a great swing set. Uh, Z, that was oh my wonderful volleyball. It feels like a perfect volleyball from both teams. Again, this is a great set to watch because everybody was just on point in terms of attacks, in terms of um, passing also. Not a lot of errors were given. And in it's terms really of trash about talking also. Trash talking and jeering at the net. Both the athletes and the, the coaches. coaches. Um, but I mean, it just boiled down to the end game, which Choco Mucho has said that they've been practicing and now they were very much uh, well executed in set number three. Eight errors, mostly coming in that, that midway yep, yep, where they yep. lost the lead. Uh -huh. And that they were behind by two towards the end and Signal looked like they were gonna take the set from them, but Choco Mucho in the classic uh, Volleyball uh, language, nagpakita ng kapet, kumapet, lumamang, at nanalo 26-24. So, that sets up our set number four. Toko Mucho, a set away from a final state with their sister team. 
We got other athletes in attendance here. We got uh, Jo Prado from uh, PLDT. Hopefully her rehab is oh, yes. going well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Definitely looking forward to when she comes back to the hard court. Here we go. Chocomucho sticking with that uh, in-game adjustment, making sure CC starts in the back row as uh, what we've witnessed in uh, set number three. She ended being in the front row as opposed to the previous sets. That's a little wrinkle that you saw, Kanina. Yeah. Cat had to tip it to the other side. Molina goes cross, bang. CC from behind. Re on the run. Dina opens up to Molde. Molde straight to Eneral and a net touch by Jel Cayuna, caught by Ernesto Eusebio. The guy there from our uh, first, uh, our second referee, seeing that the slight touch at the net to open house up in uh, set number four. Combination is caught by Choco Mucho. General to Molina. Good coverage by General. Back to Molina, makes the adjustment, goes high. Dina will shoot it to Isa. Isa cross court. Long rally here and a long chase by Gel. That will sail out for Danny. Vanny a little bit under that ball with the same power behind that spike that sailed out. Two zero. Oh, there you go. The power. Better set also for Vanny Gander this time. Also, good anticipation for that uh, back row set. Danny Gander swinging away to 18 points so far. Cherry. Oh, good touch. Joves. That's out. No touch. There was no block touch, but a net touch. touch. Worth the challenge here because if they down 3-0, if ever. So let's see if Isa Molde scraped that net. She claims she didn't. So far, we have our leading scorers, Vanny with 18. Kat and CC on the other end. CC with 18, Kat with 12. Uh -huh. Cess with 15 also. At game number one, we had so many double digit scorers. You had five from Choco Mucho Flying Titans, and they still lost that game. That five setter match. Yeah. They were led, of course, by Rondinas 19. There was 16 from Tolentino. There was 10 from Nunag, 10 from uh, Madayag. 11 for Molde, and they still, at the end game, lost that to the Signal HD Spikers, who were led by the MVP, Ses Molina. 23 points in that game number one. 17 from Gandler, 16 from Gonzaga. Of course, game number two ended with three sets. And it was Rondinas 23 that led the way for the Chocomucho Flying Titans. Ooh. Wow. Parang wala. But, you know, yeah. Maybe it'll be a little sleeve. <laughs> I don't know. It's hard to say, but apparently none. No touch there. So that's 3 0. Coach Shaq accepts. Sorry, 3 1, rather. That's a great counter by Cesc Molina on the right pin. This time, making sure the ball lands in. Now serving Cesc Molina. Two serving three. Set number four. Good serve. 
CC for the first ball. Isa squeezes it. Vanny chases and still scores. Adler with 19 big points as we send it to Lexi Rodriguez. Well, moving the I purposely didn't mention this in the pregame because I wanted to find the perfect timing, but Chokumucho's battle cry for before entering this game is the song One Day. One day they'll get to their goal and one day they'll grab a spot in the finals and maybe, just maybe, this is the day they get their first finals appearance. It is truly a team effort, but you know, Cece has been a stellar player for the Flying Titans and she told me that whenever she plays a game, it must feel like a championship game. And she said she manifests that maybe she'll finally play a championship game this time around. Game's not over yet, but you can watch the PVL in main view, multicam, and fan stream on the Filipinas Live app. Download now on Google Play, App Store, or via the PilipinasLive.com. Now back to you, Lizzie and Blue. They're a set away, but it's not going to be easy, that's for sure, Alexi. Signal's going to give it all they've got. Choco Mucho on its third semi-final appearance. 2021 Open, they were fourth. 2022 Open, they were fourth. That is the highest that they've gotten as Ria Meneses swings and pounds the pavement to take the lead 5-4. Signal, by the way, has a three or a 7-4 head-to-head lead mm. against Choco Mucho in their matchups, 7-4. Ooh, ball still up. We're still in this. Good pickup. Isa. Then SS. That's a good decision by Choco to just yep. set it up. Yep. yep. Another chance here for Wong. Run and gone. Maddie Madayag goes for the kill. Maddie Madayag still dominating in a running attack. Vanny has yet to get a good touch on that one. Ten points, she enters double digits. So third player for Choco Mucho and Nunag's on the verge. As this one will definitely sail out. 6-5, single HD. So far, both squads have made a couple of errors. Three errors here in set number one. I guess fatigue is slowly creeping in. I earlier I saw Cece Rondina trying to massage her calves after a back row hit. Another chance here for Wong. Back to Maddie. Great dig. Great get. Who will Dina choose this time? Back to Maddie for the third straight time. Good pickup. But it is Doria who gets the score. Rosalind Doria manning the net really well here for the HD Spikers. Lina Gumana Sivani and everybody was scrambling. And she made sure that the next time that the ball crosses over to their side of the court, it ends with her. Five serving seven. Pinalikan na naman! Wow, Mandayag has been swinging. Dina has just... They've been partners for so long. Oh, yeah. They've been doing this for so long. I mean, also for Dina to acknowledge that Maddie has been unstoppable at that running attack. You gotta give credit also to the playmaker in Wong. Too low. Lead back to two. Gandler, back row now. Still a threat, as, uh, as you know. Two point lead. Gets us to serve. 19 points on 18 attacks for Gandler. That's her second yeah. service error for the day. Been trying to go for a sharp serve there. Seven serving eight. Rebound. Cat, right pin. 
Chess takes it. Cross court. Ponce with a dig. Gonzaga with a stretch. What an exchange here. Tolentino gets the point. I mean, Scott Tolentino making sure she got bodies on the floor, on the <laughs> side of the HD Spikers. Look at that hit, trying to touch the blockers there. Gonzaga and General trying to put the ball up as much as they could. Two-point lead is gone. All tied up here in set four. Molina. Great chase there by Molde to keep this play alive. Oh, they send it to the other side. Luna puts it away. Ninth point for the Cherry Bomb. The other one. They got two Cherry Bombs right now, Bull. <laughs> cherry Nunag making sure she is not discounted here in this match. You cannot leave her alone at the net. She has been pounding the ball since set number one. Again, props to Dina Wong yep. acknowledging whoever's available and ready at the net. Nine points for Nunag. She's on the verge of being the fourth player to enter double-digit territory for Choco. Molina in the middle. Pancake. Cat. Back set. Chance for Choco Mucha here. Bump to CC. CC cross score kill. This time Signal was anticipating that down the line hit a little bit more. What room was given to CC on that cross court. It almost touched Ces Molina. She was playing defense a little bit shorter, but Bia General wasn't ready on the floor for that Rondina hit. 4-0 run here, boom, for the Chocomucho Flying Titans. Right. A push, the dive, the swing, and the point for Signal. Way to respond for the HD Spikers. I mean, they saw an opportunity there when Jerry Nuna just pushed the ball yep. ever so lightly. They knew that they had to kill it in the next sequence. All the beach volleyball players that in detail, like Jones, <laughs> get the mga dive. Oh, yes. And the ball control as yeah. well. What, with the dive, you're mm -hmm. right, see? Mm -hmm. Doria with a one-point deficit. 9-10. Combination, but they saw that one. Good read there. Riri Menes is letting go of uh, Jerry Luna. Yes. And again, it was Jelka Yuna knowing that there was no other option for CC but to go down the line. Then all. Set four. Woo. Oh, it's in. And they take over the lead again. The challenge from Choco Mucho's side this time. Ball in, ball out. We can see that from our angle, Zeke, so we will have to depend on the video screen. I mean, that was a sharp serve. Us. They have been trying to target the outside hitters here for Choco Mucho. Drops in. Yep. Drops in. <laughs> Unsuccessful challenge. Point for signal. One more challenge remaining for Chocomucho.
11-10. That's a great deception play there. I thought Cherry was gonna get it again. I mean, Luna. <laughs> the other Cherry was on airplane mode. Again, that's what you get when you really activate your all your hitters well, especially your middle. You cannot just let go of Cherry Luna all the time and anticipate the balls are always going to go to CC because chances are she will make her own points as well. Speaking of anticipation, Molde anticipating. Cesc Molina there. Kill block time. 12-11, set four. Canny from behind. Ooh. says, What a dig. Second touch. Push does not work. Cece from behind. Gonzaga again. Fanny from behind. That is out. Two point lead for Chopomucho. Technical timeout. Join Eliza Valdez and other Philippine volleyball stars on ACES. New episodes every Saturday, exclusive on Filipinas Live. Download and register now and enjoy seven-day free trial. We're inside the Phil Sports Arena for game number three as Peter Torres, one of the players watching and waiting for the results of this match. And the winner, of course, will go to the finals with uh, Cream Line waiting and watching also in the wings. Chocomucho with a two sets to one lead. Everybody regrouping after that technical timeout. Peter Wong is holding on to her knees. Mm -hmm. Look at it heavily wrapped. Uh, even her facial expression is uh, giving away that she's in pain right now. She has been having an incredible All Filipino conference talking about Tina Wong. And also, Jen Ferrer is trying to warm up in the sidelines as well. <laughs> but still effective well, yeah, lower, distributing the ball. Lower body may be painful, but the upper body looks good. Buti na lang, magaling din yung teammates niya. Nakatayo lang siya, pita mo. Again, teamwork is definitely at play here for Choco Mucho. If there's one strength that they have here over to Signal HD Spikers, it's that. Lead is three. Tina having problems mobility-wise. Candler, Tina digs it up. CC adjusts, but way underneath the ball. Yun yung mga may gigil na talaga. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, as we mentioned earlier, boom, any time that the ball is set in front of her, she would always make sure she has that runway, she has that full approach, and she has that power behind that spike. <laughs> It's not a set that she doesn't love. Oh, yes. <laughs> Walang pangit na set. Oh. Jove. Ponce to Cap. 
Good slide by Vanny. Molina is sent back. Gel to Joe. Return to sender. And Signal unable to keep it in play. And the lead back to three. You cannot be predictable in your sets. Job got two blockers there. Cherry and Isa was there at the right time, at the right spot. Usually, Jell would go for that opposite setting. If she's on the right side, she'll set the left pin. But this time, a little bit too predictable for Kayuna. Molina is not done. Molina. 18 points. 18 attacks. Averaging 17 in the preliminaries. Had a 23-point output earlier. Good touch. It's all they need sometimes. But it's too off for Vanny. Didn't want to force it. Cat again. Nobody touching. None. I mean, Kat already acknowledged that there was a good touch by Vanny on that last hit. Trying to go for a sharper angle there, but a little too wide. Went out of bounds. Lead is down to one. Vanny in the middle. Good decision by mm. Signal. Wong will open up to Isa. That's too long. Good angle, but oh, yeah. too long. Two errors. Right. Giving a 3 0 run para sa HD Spikers. We got a 15 point deadlock here. Set number three. Mm. Set number four, rather. That he sold that very well. The aggressive approach by Madayag set up. Oh, yeah. Isa Molde with one blocker. Yeah, really on that uh, Benta fake Benta. approach, definitely. But John Gonzaga trying to be a little too wise on that block position. Gel goes to Gandler. Cat with the dig. CC from behind. Good reaction there by Riri. Molde with a tip. Gandler turns it over. Run and gun. Maddie has been sensational on the slide today. 14 big points. Check that. 12 big points by Maddie. Troncoso will come in for Vanny Gandler. Again. Dina Wong knowing that every time she sets up Maddie for a running, nobody can touch her at the net nor the floor. Great acknowledgement there by their playmaker. Who is playing hurt, mm. apparently. Riri gets a point back. Former two-time best middle blocker. Gets us going for this rally. 16 serving, 17, and a third service error for her. Gives Choco another two point lead as we slowly inch closer to the end game here. Gina Rocha, a service specialist for the Flying Titans. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> now uh, service error here. Let's see how Signal capitalizes on this one. Good vision by Wong there. Uh, yep. Open to Troncoso. Arocha is there to defend. CC is there to swing. Troncoso again. Wow. Oh, what a dig by Ponce. 
Rondina puts it away. She said, if Chai can hit that sharp of an angle, watch me. What wow. a dig by Tang. And just quick on her feet. Just the springs on Rondina. If there's any go-to hit that she has, it's that cross-court hit. No matter how effective her down the line yeah. has been so far, you got to stay put at that angle there. Well, Gonzaga has been spectacular on oh, defense, yes. oh, by the yes. way, for Signal. Free ball. Good first ball. Ooh. And Doria oh. puts it away, squeezing it through the block. Again, you cannot get three easy balls here at this time of the game. One and done there by uh, the HD Spikers. Rokoso had just checked in for Vanny Gandler. High tension here in this winner-take-all match. That is out. That is big. Another error you cannot afford here. I was actually expecting Vanny to check back in. Although she couldn't get a touch at that Maddie run, she has been phenomenal on the service line. Oh, and, miscommunication. And the back row as right. well. Cat. And a crucial three-point lead by the Choco Mucho Flying Titans. Timeout signal. Tolentino, 15 points tonight. Tolentino, 15.5 average here in the semifinal, so she's right there. She had a 16-point game, she had a 15-point game, and today, right at her average. More importantly, that point gave them a little bit of a breathing room here as we approach the business end of set four. A cut shot by Molina. But again, great first ball by Gonzaga, oh, yeah. who's just been Sensational on defense, on sweeping, on diving. Oh, yes, definitely. Look at that. I mean, at this point, whoever can take charge of their spot, it's gonna be, it's gonna boil down to teamwork here, boom. Vanny Gandler's back. Two point lead. Cat with her 16th point tonight. Roller coaster of a season for her. Oh, yes. Whether she plays, whether she starts, whether she's off the bench, but here in the semifinals, she has been on fire. But also look at that, Dina Wong laying it all out on the floor to set Catalentino. Melina. Ponce will give it to Cat. Cat will adjust. The push and the smarts of Jel Cayuna keeping their heads above water here. Down two. You gotta be an offensive player if you're in the front row, and that's been Jel Cayuna here in this match. Cayuna, that is her fourth point. Fans are into it here at the Phil Sports Arena. Ooh, misreceived. Molde adjusts, General dives. Gander from behind. Oh, what a dig by Ponce. Wow. Return to center. One point game now, Boom. Riri Mineses 
loving that action there at the net. What an exchange. Yes, once again, it's down to every inch, every movement. The coverage, that the defense. 21-22. Another misreceived ball. Rondina makes something out of it. Over received! An overpass by Danny Gandler gives a gift unwrapped by Cherry Nunag. I mean, it was an easy ball. I mean, a lighter ball coming from a CC, but an overpass. Just an easy point there for Chocomucho. Reaction of Riri matched by the reaction of Cherry as Bea de Leon comes in to serve two points away from their very first finals appearance. She made a crucial ace earlier. Let's see if she can do a repeat here. That is wide. Nerves. Good speed yeah. and height, although it went out. Nobody is spared. Nerves. Signal only down by one trying to force a fifth. Isa steady on the first ball. Cap from behind. Tolentino hanging and banging once again. Cat Tolentino has stepped up when CC Rondina has been a little quiet in this match. But efficiency-wise, Catalentino has been delivering the goods for the Flying Titans. On the verge of their first finals appearance. Gel. Set back. Cayuna to Gandler. Says no, nope, not yet. And that's why he put back. Fanny Gandler, she may not get those block touches from uh, Maddie's running play, but she will deliver in terms of offense. Malabanan coming in fresh from the bench to serve. One match point saved. Oh boy, you come in at this moment, Z. Rondina gets it. Run and gun! Good check. Chance here for Signal. Gonzaga is returned. Gonzaga will swing. Ball there. Cayuna. Gandler again! That is out! That is out! And Choco Mucho! Pending a challenge. Pending a challenge. going to the finals, but there is a challenge here on a block touch. Okay, okay, I was actually expecting the set was gonna go to Vanny Gander. She has been, she got the last touch, she got the last point and... 20 points for her. And she has been unstoppable with her down the line hits and she went for that in that last sequence, but let's see if there was a block touch before that ball went out. Everybody's saying a prayer here, but different. They're wishing for all different things. The Signal HD praying that technology is on their side. While Choco Mucho hoping there is no block touch. A Choco Mucho Flying Titans will go to their very first finals appearance in the Premier Volleyball League. Battle Cherry Digo for podium finish. Chavo Mucho and will go to the finals against the Green Line Food Smashers. What a battle here in the fourth. 25 23. That is a confirmation of the win. The biggest win in the young history of the Chavo Mucho Flying 
Titans. And emotions overflowing here at the Phil Sports Arena. Dina Wong gutting it out. We'll look at more scenes here at the Phil Sports Arena. Talk to the players when we come right back to wrap this baby up. this game and all PVL games anytime anywhere on the Pilipinas live app available for Filipinos everywhere download and subscribe now for 149 pesos as I said the confirmation of this massive massive Choco Mucho win 25-20 23-25 26-24 25-23 Choco Mucho in the finals for the very first time and they were told by Dina Wong, and she is with Lexi Rodriguez. Thank you so much, Boom and Z. I am with the best player of the game, Boss D herself, Dina Wong. Welcome to the finals, Choco Mucho Flying Titan. Such an emotional win. Dina Wong with 24 excellent sets after all of those conferences, ending in, in seven places. Gano kasarap sa pakiramdam na finally you will be making your finals appearance. Oh. We're just really grateful na nakapaso kami sa semis and um, hindi lang naman ako pero yung buong team hindi lang sa top four yung goal namin. So step by step championship and hopefully we'll reach to our goal talaga. Thank you so much, Gina. But I've got to ask this. What is the best thing about being part of the Choco Mucho Flying Titans team? Uh, you can really see that our team is like a family na talaga. So Choco Mucho has been my second family ever since 2021. And kita mo talaga na gusto namin lahat to, na pinagtrabuhan talaga namin to. And I think itong panalo na to dahil sa teamwork namin. So, yeah. Well, this wouldn't be possible without the very loving fans of the Choco Mucho Flying Titans. Is there anyone you would like to greet right now or anything you'd like to say to them? Um, gusto ko lang magpasalamat sa buong... sa buong Choco Mucho community kasi um, manalo man or matalo, andyan pa rin kayo para sa amin. So, para sa inyo to, Para sa inyo lahat to. So maraming maraming salamat. Hanggang dulo. Thank you so much, Gina. Congratulations again, our player of the game. Now we'll be right back for two other players of the Choco Mucho Flying Titan. How determined are you coming up against Team Line Chase Mountain? 
Um, of course, very determined. Um, our team has gone through a lot this season, and finally, we've made the finals, and uh, we're so excited to go against Screamline. We're gonna fight even harder, and we have so much more to offer, and we thank you for everyone's support, and um, see you in the finals. We'd love to hear the cheer from the fans, and of course, Cherry Bob, Ate Sisi, ano ang nagbago sa team niyo all throughout this conference para makaabot kayo sa finals? Um, siguro yung mindset talaga namin, paulit-ulit kung sinasabi sa kanila na saga, trabaho, and gumalaw lang tayo, kayang-kaya natin yan, naniniwala kami sa kakayahan namin isa't isa. And al alam mo yung pinagkatiwalaan lang talaga namin yung programa ni Coach Dante, sumusunod kami sa mga sinasabi ng mga coaches namin, and give and take yung uh, pag nagsasabi kami, nakikinig, apply, and siguro yun yung naging nagbago sa amin na um, alam mo yung tumatanggap ng mga sinasabi kasi grabe, hindi ko rin in-expect as in ngayon, di, di pa rin ako makapaniwala na pasok kami sa finals ngayon and uh, Una-una sa lahat, nagpapasalamat talaga kami kay Coach Dante's program talaga sa management ng Rebisco. Sila talaga yung dahilan bakit kami nakapasok dito. Lahat ng ginagawa namin, lahat ng mga kinikilos namin dahil lang din sa kanila. And also, yung personal namin na mindset na makapasok sa finals, manifested talaga to. Kaya thank you talaga, Lord. Truly is manifested, CCN Kat. Dina Wong manifested this in Iloilo. If you all remember correctly, now is there anyone you'd like to be or say to your fans? First of all, um, I'll greet my family in Canada. I know they're up late watching. Um, thank you to uh, my parents and uh, all of them who support me. And for the fans, thank you for coming out here, for always being the best cheerleaders, and again, for management. Um, their consistent support. So thank you, thank you so much, and um, see you in the finals. <laughs> <laughs> Music to their ears. But uh, Cece, is there anything you'd like to say also? Uh, unang una po sa lahat, maraming maraming salamat po sa Choco Mucho fans. Uh, binabati ko po pala yung Ibisco management po. Sir Jonathan, belated happy birthday. Sir Alan, Sir Rolly, attorney Lily, Ma'am Lizan, sa family ko, sa Compostela, Cebu. Sa mama ko na nasa Mindanao, yung ate ko nasa Canada, ate Michi Villanueva, Lorraine, and uh, binabate ko yung family ni CJ sa Abuana Negros, and kay CJ na nanonood, and sa lahat po ng mga kaibigan ko, sa mga sumusuporta po sa amin, maraming maraming salamat po, mahal namin kayo. See you in the finals po! And that was Catalentino and CC Rondina, and they will definitely see you in the finals. Now, to wrap this up, let's take it back to the panel. Thank you very much, Lexi. They've gone to the semifinals three times. Both of those times, they've ended in fourth place. Yep. And they've been yep. wanting to say five words for, for, them, for their franchise for a long time, and they finally got to utter it many, many times. See you at the finals. That is the five words. Now. I thought two words, finals, finals, baby. <laughs> 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 And then, oh my gosh, here we go. Here we go. And the Choco Mucho Flying Titans defeating the Signal HD Spikers in uh, four incredible sets. And in three games, they have provided us with great semifinal action. And then, as we mentioned, Signal HD will... Uh, the, the, by the way, they have a bronze medal in the invitation. Oh, yes. They're going to try to defend that against the Cherry Eagle crossovers. We have had a spectacular conference for themselves, too. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That's at 4 p.m. at the Mall of Asia Arena on Thursday, as I, as I mentioned. And then right after that, it's the sister act between the Green Line Pool Smashers and the Chocomucho Flying Titans. See you at the finals, indeed. Your quick thoughts on that matchup, Z. I mean, I'm just really excited to see this sister act going down in the finals, no less. I mean, Choco Mucho has been playing back to back to back game days. Green Line has had a little bit of a rest, so we'll see. We'll see you Thursday for Lexi Rodriguez. Z Urbasho, I'm Boom Gonzalez. See you at the finals. <laughs>